Hey guys, this is uh, T Gazette in Roblox Studio again. You know my camera script that I wrote a while back. I've been doing a little bit of uh, changes with that. You know in games you get this sort of shading like on these bricks here. I'm working out a way of actually doing a shading. Here's our screen. So if I actually play the game, you should see it's not very good at the moment but it's good enough to see what's going on as you can see there I've got the Sun on a cycle so it goes round and as you can see it's really laggy so I've just this minute uh, put this slap this together kind of thing I'm using someone else's code to uh, do the time script so that's not my code I won't be looking into there so yeah as the sun goes round, I'm casting a ray from the sun position onto the scene. And I'm also casting another bunch of rays from the camera that we're looking through onto the scene. So then I can work out where the lighting is and what size I should colour. I'll show you the script behind it. It's not much change from the actual code itself. The only new bit that I've put in is basically that. There we go. Basically that. So that's how I'm getting these these uh, sun direction. I had to uh, put that to a negative uh, normal for the uh, direction of the sun because if I'd done, done that without the, the negative it would uh, show the opposite where the sun is. So in other words uh, where the sun is now it would be dark when it hits the face and the other side would be uh, be light so that's the way I've just reversed it that's all yeah so I've been doing a lot of uh, most of this code is from the wiki if you look up vector dot product vector 3 dot product on, on the robots wiki you you might recognize this the only difference I've done is instead of using a a uh, stationary vector as the direction I'm using the sun as that and then I'm using math as seen to get the angle in radiance then I'm doing the usual setting the pixel as uh, like the camera's done and I'm making sure that angle doesn't equal zero because otherwise uh, if my times a value by zero it would be zero so in other words it'd be black so I'm making sure that doesn't happen. We do get a little bit of glitches here and there. I haven't quite refined it yet. So if it's zero, I put it to one, which is if you times a number by one, it'd be always that number that you started with. And if it's anything else, I set the num the angle to one minus the angle itself that it comes from times by 0 0.1, another scaling it down to get the shading. I still have to play around with that to get it perfect. It seems to be working with the new mesh types. If I actually load one in. But it's uh, a little bit buggy, let's just say. Uh, where's my mesh parts? My meshes. Let's load up one that I've done. Let's load in that one. All right. Let's actually load up a better one than that one. Let's do that one. Alright. Let's see if I can get down into there. Let's anchor that so it doesn't cause any lag. And let's play. Let's get closer. I might actually set the range a bit further. Because I've set it to 256 studs, the viewing distance. Oh. There we go. In fact, let's do, let's do that. Set the distance to higher distance. Uh, let's say 1024. Yeah, so that's just the screen things. And that's the distance for how far to render. Or how far to shoot the rays out of the camera. Aha, I'm shooting my laser. There we go. So it's sort of working, as you can see. 
sort of getting some rays there, but I think that's really laggy. <laughs> yeah, you can just about see the cat, the key. Uh, what do you call it? The metal part. That's meant to be a car key from a friend of mine. Let's actually zoom in. Go in. Then we can fly around it. Let's stop the day-night circle. Let's play. So, this is really laggy. <laughs> But you can just about make out that uh, structure on the camera, on the screen there. Let's actually zoom that out a bit. There we go, that's better. Ah, my computer! <laughs> Yeah, so you can see how far I've got to, with shading. At the moment, I'm just use, as I say, I'm just using the angle of the of the surface to determine if it's pointing at the camera and colour it a certain colour. So yeah, that's what I've been uh, sort of working on. And hopefully, if I can develop this and work out a better way of doing it, we'll have proper shading on this camera. Maybe you can have, uh, I don't know, maybe come some kind of uh, portal or something where you see the scene in a portal and uh, as you look into the portal it changes your w viewpoint like, uh, well, but just like uh, a normal sci-fi portal where you look through a portal and you see another land as you look round the portal you see things uh, sort of moving so that's the idea what I'm trying to do since Roblox hasn't got a camera uh, texture thing like a mirror thing I suppose I could program one since I've got this uh, camera now but as you can see it's really laggy let's look what this looks like Yeah, that must be some kind of mesh. That's showing a triangle. That must be how Redbox's meshes are put together. Or should, should I say the uh, collision mess, mesh even. Oh well. Getting very, very close to actually shading things on my camera. And this has been Tigaza in Roblox Studio on my camera update if you like. And I'll catch you guys later. Tigaza signing out. Thank you.